and welcome back to another exciting episode of Beer Bros, the big game edition. Today we are <coughs> today we are going to be cooking with beer in preparation for the most important part of the big game, the food. So the first uh, dish today, we got some preparation to do ahead of time. We're going to be doing ribs made with beer. I am so hungry. How long will it take? About three hours altogether. Are you freaking serious? Yes. Oh, good God. I am hungry now. Okay. Take some brown sugar. How much? About a half a cup. Half a cup? About a teaspoon of salt and... That looked like... That didn't look uh, like salt. Teaspoon of pepper. Pepper. Okay. Brown sugar and pepper. And also about... Half to three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And mix this up. There we go. Let's mix our ingredients. So what I want you to do. What do I do? Drink beer? No. Ah. I'm gonna take our ribs that we've okay. already prepared, put them in the pot. Okay. With the rack side down. Rack side down. Racks on racks on racks. Both of them? Yes. Okay. This is all gooey. I'm all sticky. I didn't even know that. Where's my, where's my thing? <laughs> Thank you, mommy. Appreciate it. I, I want you to take the sugar and rub it all over the ribs. All right, let's do it. And while Chris is doing that, I am going to take about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Okay. And put it into my Brian College Station water etched glass. <laughs> Am I doing all this, or, or yeah. half half on each side, I guess? Uh, just pretty much all of it there. All of it on the top. For this, we're going to be using Founders Breakfast Out for the beer component. So we're adding our apple cider vinegar and our Founders. You don't have to use Breakfast Out. You can use any dark beer. I just thought, from my big collection... Yeah, quite a collection, actually. ...of beer. Getting it foaming up nicely. We've got about a quarter cup of honey. Okay. Where's that going to go? It's going to go on the ribs. Okay. So, wow. Wow. There we go. Do I want to rub those in too? Nope. I'm just going to drizzle it. Because that far one has more than this middle one. Now we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've embraced that my hands are sticky. <laughs> so now we're going to... Uh, we're gonna put it right. We're, we're gonna wrap the ribs up. We're gonna pour our beer and vinegar mixture around the ribs. All right. Looking frothy. Interesting. Yeah. We're gonna cover this and bake it at, for an hour at 325. Then we're gonna reduce it, reduce it to 250 for two hours. Great. So I gotta wait three hours to eat my food. Yes. We, we got chicken wings in front of us. Right. They're not ready yet. I'm hungry. I, I want you to go ahead and salt those. Salt put, them? Put a little bit of salt on them. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some butter, quarter, or a table, blah, 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 tablespoon or so of butter. Lightly salted. And we're going to add some uh, ginger to that. And we're going to be doing some uh, dash of garlic. Go ahead and put uh, six wings in the pan while I add some tequila salsa in this case, which is going to make a interesting flavor, as well as our beer, which is a chocolate porter. Do you have a smoke alarm in here? I don't open right here. <laughs> Alright, so we got six wings in the pan, we got our chocolate stout. Chocolate porter, uh, which, or cocoa porter, yeah, seasonal you, ale. You don't need to use the same cocoa porter that I'm using, but... Yeah, any, any cocoa porter will do. Let me turn this to low, because of... Yeah, and these we are just uh, browning, so they're only going to go in for a couple minutes. Shake That heat. we're going to let boil, and we're going to reduce that by half. <laughs> oh, look at the pop. It's alive. 
And once these are nice and all brown, uh, we'll swap them out and be ready to do the next batch. Do the next batch and then get ready to bake them. And now we're going to move on to our third dish of the day with cooking with beer on Beer Bros, which is nachos. Nachos, okay, great. And I see we have some mixture in front of you. Yeah. What is this? We have a mixture of black beans and a can of salsa, or a can of black beans and a jar of salsa. Okay, great. And then we have uh, plenty of cheese right here, which you can see right there. And what else do we have that's shown in the nachos? We have, uh, we're gonna make a cheese sauce with our third beer, which is a lager, Brooklyn lager. All right, so Brooklyn Lager. I do, I do like a Brooklyn Brewery, and, and even though Lager's really good as well. So we have a Lager, we have a Stout, uh, Stout Ribs, Porter Wings, and a Lager Cheese Dip, Cheese Sauce, right. to go on our nachos. Well, great. And we're gonna boil that, which will take a little while. I'm starting, I think this is good enough on the boil. I'm going to add a uh, mixture of cheese. This is, mild cheddar and jalapeno jack cheese. We're gonna just start slowly adding that to our beer as it's uh, melting and getting gooey. I'm also gonna add a bit of hot sauce just because I like hot sauce having grown up in Texas. Now that our cheese sauce is nice and liquefied, make sure the beer and the cheese we're going to add a jar of uh, green chilies. We're gonna glaze our wings, is that correct? Yes. Okay, is there a proper technique to it or just uh We're just going to use our sure brush, and this is a uh, appropriate brush, it's not a paint brush. <laughs> Good, I'm, uh, but I'm not gonna be eating lettuce out of, out of the chicken wings here. So, just a, a nice coat on top, a, you know, not too generous, but yeah, I'm generous we'll, enough. We'll flip them and do the other side as well. Yeah, okay, great. And I'm good sure enough to get a good glaze. Get the flavor from uh, from the sauce from the the port the stout. Right. No, porter. This cocoa porter. The chocolate no, the chocolate cocoa porter. Por yeah, this was the cocoa porter. Yeah. So spread. Stir. <laughs> spread. Stir. <laughs> All right. So uh, we have our glazed chicken wings here. That go in the oven. What are the, what temperature will it go in the oven? Three seventy five, I believe. Okay, for about 15 minutes, 10 minutes? Thereabouts. Okay, thereabouts still, it's uh, what kind of color? Until or, there's no pink meat. So, so there's no pink meat, all right, I like that. We've, we've presented our bowl here with uh, some chips, and uh, I like to haul out the center so I can come from the outside with a crisp yeah. chip. We did uh, forget to mention that these do have to be Texas chips. Yeah, in order for the recipe to work. Yeah, yeah. if you live in Florida, then this won't work. <laughs> it's gotta be Texas. I'm gonna put the cheese in first, half of the cheese, I'm sorry. Now we're gonna add uh, our bean and salsa mixture. Yeah, we, we, we got some pretty decent uh, temperature salsa there, so be careful with yours. Unless you live in Florida. <laughs> so why don't, you, why don't you tell me, I'm gonna see if I can find the crispy chip here. Can you taste the Brooklyn lager in there? I can't. Hmm, well. It tastes something a little different, a little different than, re than regular cheese sauce. Uh, it's a, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not bad though, good appetizer. Mm -hmm. I'll start with that. Now we're on to our chicken wings. Mm -hmm. The cocoa porter chicken wings with ginger and teriyaki. Which should come out tasting somewhat uh... South Asian or Asian. Perfect for America's big game. Yes. <laughs> well, actually, it, it, you know, for the Pacific, I guess, uh, like Seat Seattle isn't a big game. So, I'll give you three apiece and we'll see how we do. All right. So, you give it a smell here. No, smell. Yeah. <laughs> Porter. <laughs> no, I mean, it smells. I smell the ginger. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's exactly what I smell. So, we're gonna dig in here. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> cheers. Clinky, Edie, I don't know. Anyway, let's give it a shot. These are gonna be a little warm to the touch still, but we'll 
fight through. Hey, what? <laughs> Excuse me. You know what? <laughs> not bad. Um, really? <laughs> it's not as thick a glaze as I was ex uh, expecting, at least on the, this piece. It just kind of complements it. It, mm -hmm. it kind of soaked into the into the skin a little bit. Uh, tastes like a, a fried chicken wing, a pan fried chicken wing, or, or and plus baked. Um, but just a kind of a smooth texture to it. Not bad. <laughs> All right, Keith. So uh, we we've just ta we've taken the ribs out of the oven, grilled it for thirty min or for about ten minutes to yeah. finish it up with a little bit of barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what brand, and that should be ready. It's so tender that it's falling off a bone. It literally was. We, he was trying to pick it up out of the thing out of, out of the oven, and it was just falling apart. So uh, it's going to be very, very tender. I'm going to eat it with a fork instead of the hands, and that's not the American way, but you know. Do what we can here. So, ooh, smells delicious. Mmm, mm -hmm. good rib. Sorry, I had to tell you that was that was some very good rib out there. Holy cow, that's some good stuff. Man, I'm getting stuff from the day. A lot of food. So whenever uh. You're getting prepared for the big game. This, look at that, I just pulled the bone up out and it. it's all, all, um, all done. Uh, when you're getting ready for the big game this weekend, this is something you can prepare. Make sure you do it a few hours ahead of time. Um, and your guests will, will definitely enjoy this dish. This is, this is my favorite of the day. So, so that makes uh, Chris's beer of the day, the breakfast stout. Breakfast stout? Yeah. Uh, uh, Founders breakfast stout. Founders breakfast stout infused in the ribs here. Very delicious. What, you got anything else to say about the ribs? I do not. <laughs> you just want to eat, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it is. Very delicious. That's it. Get bros out. We'll chow down. Go away. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff. Eat. Don't do that. <laughs>